This week, Seth Johnson and I are headed back to the Novios Ranch. In order to grow these big trophy deer, you've got to take inferior deer like this out of the herd. McWhorter Custom Rifles presents. We're back at the Novios Ranch this week. It's the heart of the rut, and Seth is after a couple of mature whitetails with his McCorder 300 Ultra. Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by McWhorter Custom Rifles, McMillan Fiberglass Stocks, Swarovski Optic, Hornady Ammunition, and Borden Accuracy. The Novios Ranch, you've heard us talk about it before. Uh, it's so easy to talk about because it's such a great place. Uh, through the years, we've watched Jackie make it into one of the premier ranches in South Texas. Uh, everybody knows the name, and it's not just because of the TV show and we hunt there uh, a lot. It's, it's just the fact that everybody knows the quality of deer that comes there. Everybody knows the Scoggins. Everybody knows the input they put into that ranch, and you can't get any better. I mean. Uh, you got deer from that are management bucks, you deer all the way to trophies, and whatever you're hunting, it's going to be a hunt. But uh, it's just a great place to hunt. It's the way I grew up hunting, and I never, never refuse an opportunity to go to the Nobles Ranch. The rut in South Texas, our favorite time of the year. If you hunt South Texas long enough, you know that's when you want to hunt. The deer just go crazy. And whether the hot weather, cold weather, it doesn't make any difference. When those bucks are in love, you're going to have a great time. Seth was going to be hunting with his McWhorter 300 Ultra Mag, and that gun is just as accurate as the rest of them, and if you got a McWhorter in your hand, you're going to be doing good. I'm going to start out at 200 yards, which is only three quarters of a minute. I have it zeroed at 100, so let's shoot there and then we'll step out, okay? Sir. Oh! <laughs> right in the middle. <laughs> well, secretly, Lamar, this is probably one of my favorite parts of the hunt. <laughs> so, Punching holes in paper and or steel down there. And and shooting an accurate firearm just makes it fun. That's all the difference in the world, isn't it? Well, let's uh, let's chase some uh, South Texas bucks. How about it? Let's, let's see if we we're not going to shoot them at 850 or 1,000 yards. No. We're going to go have some fun. That's right. Let's go.
first morning. We're going to see how it goes. Uh, it's going to be a warm week, but uh, it is a little misting a little yeah. bit here. Kind of surprised both of us, but uh, I'm going to get up on the north end. Seth's going to be in the Lucky Lamar's blind, <laughs> and we got a couple of target bucks. But uh, this is the no wheels. We never know what we're going to see. But. All right, guys, first day in South Texas. It is middle of December. A little bit rainy this morning. First light, we had a real pretty 12 point out there. A lot of does. And we immediately noticed about uh, two or three different coals that need to be taken out of the herd. So we're just kicking off uh, our annual trip to South Texas. And uh, we got about five days. So we figured we would start the hunt out with helping Mr. Jackie out with some herd management. And uh, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look around here and see what we can, we can find and uh, maybe, maybe put our eyes on, a, on a, a good inferior buck that we wanna take out of the herd later this morning. This segment is brought to you by Board and Accuracy, makers of the most accurate custom hunting actions on the market. Manufactured in the USA to true bench rest tolerances. Board and Accuracy equals success. So while I was doing my thing across the ranch, Seth was with his guide, Ricky and he was going to be doing some herd management because outstepped a really nice eight point they're pretty hard on the management end of the whitetail there and so ricky told him to shoot it and it was such a nice deer that seth wasn't going to argue with him that's got to be taken out of the herd. All right, here we go. We are at the Novius Ranch, deep South Texas, and we are just starting off our annual trip. We are here doing some herd management this week. We're also looking for some trophies, but in order to grow, grow these big trophy deer, you've got to take inferior deer like this out of the herd. Five-year-old buck, short tines. This is as good as he's gonna be. These are the type of deer you do not want breeding your does. And rut is just kicking off, so this is one less eight point out of the gene pool. 275 yards, about two minutes of elevation, just high shoulder dropped him in his tracks. Nothing like shooting an accurate rifle. South Texas, guys, this is what it's all about. Noelius Ranch. Classic South Texas buck. Got those dark antlers. Big old mature head on him. <laughs> 
Another management deer on the Novio Ranch. They go ahead on and mature. Seth is down to the last morning of the hunt. Now when we started this, both of us were looking for a chocolate horn 10 point at that new pipeline plant. Uh, it just hadn't shown up. Everybody had seen him but us. So this was Seth's last chance, so that's where he headed. All right, last morning, still hot, wind still blowing, but uh, last morning we're gonna try the pipeline blind one more time. Had some success there last year. We're looking for a mysterious 11 point that they were seeing them when it was cooler, but we haven't seen them all wait. So one more try. Precision Hunting TV is also brought to you by Extreme Wildlife Adventures, Hoff Power Auto and Outdoor Stores, Surge Pro by Biofac Crop Care, Ultimate Antler Deer Feed, Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue, and Mesquite Creek Taxidermy. Hello folks and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to make the most accurate hunting rifles in the world. So the heart of the rifle is a custom action and we do, we use several. Our, my favorite is the Borden. Tell us about the action, Bobby. So the Bordens are great. They're machined properly right off the start. Uh, they're very consistent from action to action. They all headspace the same. They have some cool features that you don't see in the big box actions. Uh, external extractors, side bolt release. Uh, they're, they're, fluted bolts. Yep, they're, they're Classic nice cut, and they straight. look cool. Yep. Yeah, so really, really good actions. Um, and and we're, we're proud to have these available to us because it, it's really the heart of, of a custom rifle. Absolutely. So then you take a match grade barrel, such as this Brux. We carry several different match grade barrels. Brux is our favorite. Comes in several different kinds of fluted, and this is a straight fluted. So you hand this to Bobby or Dustin over there. They cut a perfect chamber in it, and then you're ready to Cerakote it and then bed it in one of our stocks. Uh, we carry a whole lot of McMillan stocks, a whole lot of other manufacturer stocks, but we make four that are proprietary to us. Uh, the first one is the Apex LR. Uh, all of our stocks uh, use some negative comb on the rear end and a slider toe angle to reduce muzzle flip. This stock right here is, uh, looks like your standard sporter stock, but it's got those long range features on it. Uh, we make a pinnacle stock, this is a vertical grip stock, uh, beaver tail. We make a Zenith stock, which is similar to the Pinnacle, but no beaver tails, but it's still got inch and a half, inch and three quarters on the front. And last but not least, the Peak stock. This one, a lot of people like a cheek piece. This one's got a cheek piece, still got the slight toe angle, real thin at the wrist. This one's got an inset thumb butt to keep your hand right behind the gun. We got a little discreet fore end, uh, beaver tail fore end. And a All carbon these, fiber shell. Yeah, the carbon fiber shell. So. When you paint them up and you can you can have that carbon fiber showing it, it, it really looks cool. So we stress free bed these and all these stocks, our guys are great. I They're mean super lightweight stocks. If you don't get a stress free bed, you're gonna see it on the target. That's right. Period. So the custom paint, everything you see on our website, we can do that and then some. We've got a, a painter that's uh, like Leonardo da Vinci's offspring somewhere down the line, I think. That's right. He can do anything that you see on the website. Here's a good example some. of that. Next parts of the puzzle, we put a muzzle brake on most of them. Hawkins makes us great muzzle brakes. That three port uh, is great for prone shooting or, or anytime you're gonna be close to the ground. Um, our mounts, Hawkins makes some great mounts. These are, these are the best. That's right. I mean, 25 MOA, zero MOA. They're lightweight, they're sturdy. They're pinned to, the, to all of our actions. They're just, they're the greatest thing there is. Uh, Trigger Tech Triggers, tell us about those. So the Trigger Tech triggers are a game changer. Uh, adjustable down to four ounces, though we don't recommend that in hunting situations. Usually pound, pound and a half is what we recommend to guys. That's right, so zero creep, break like the proverbial glass rod. They're sealed, so no dust. You don't have to worry about that on a dusty desert hunt. 
uh, frictionless to roller bearing design. It's just super, super good feeling triggers. Last but not least, you're going to shoot a lot better groups if you put a scope on it. So Swarovski's our uh, scope of choice. We sell others too, but that's just the cream of the crop. The edge-to-edge -edge clarity, the light gathering, the repeatability on dial-ups and dial-downs, it's just it's, gr it's great. This is a X5i with a 4WXI reticle. It's a 5 to 25 by 56. It's got daytime and nighttime illumination settings. It's just amazing. So. I can appreciate the target style turrets for windage and elevation, the really solid positive clicks, the smoothness of the parallax lob, knob. It's, it's a really great scope. Absolutely. And last but not least, when we get all these guns put together, they come to the back. We do low development for each and every one. We shoot them all the way out to a thousand yards, guaranteed half minute. So you want the best, most accurate hunting rifles in the world, give us a call. And that's your downrange tip brought to you by Allen and Bobby McWhorter Custom Rifles. Precision Hunting TV is also brought to you by McWhorter True Precision Long Range Hunting and Shooting School, Tacticam, Leo Photo USA, Sig Sauer, Trigger Tech, Brux Barrels, and Hawkins Precision. This segment is brought to you by Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue, Real Texas Barbecue. Seth is down to the last morning of the hunt. Now when we started this, both of us were looking for a chocolate horn 10 point at that new pipeline blind. Uh, he just hadn't shown up. Everybody had seen him but us. So this was Seth's last chance, so that's where he hit it. So first light rolls around, there's deer everywhere, typical of the Novios Ranch. Uh, as it gets lighter and lighter, their binoculars are busy looking at all the deer, trying to judge them and they notice that there's a large body, obviously a buck down there they haven't seen before. And guess what? Last morning, last buck, it's that big 10 point. So the deer is working his way towards them, but what they're trying to do is get enough daylight for the camera. Uh, it's one of the perils of hunting for TV. You gotta have the camera light. So if you're a fan of the show and you were watching last year, Seth killed a mega giant out of the same blind in almost the exact same spot that this 10 point was in. And he ran off as well. So J Seth is thinking maybe he just jinxed being on that pipeline blind. yards. Look at that buck. Chocolate antlers. Whoo! What a deer. Look at this buck. Oh my goodness. Just a classic beautiful South Texas deer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve points. 
Just a beautiful buck. Guys, I am going to call this blind drama because this is two years in a row. As a matter of fact, we were joking about it this morning. It has been a year to the day since I shot stickers at this blind. A lot of drama that morning. This morning, I felt like I, I felt like the shot was good, but we just didn't know. He only went 30 yards and but look at this shot. This shot's exactly where I want it to be. But you never know, some deer are tougher than others. And he, he went about 30 yards and piled up and I have a beautiful, big, mature South Texas buck on the ground. And I am super happy to put my tag on this really, really awesome South Texas 12 point. Guys, I will find a way each year to hunt South Texas. This is one of my favorite hunting spots on the planet. I absolutely love it here. Another successful week at the Nobles Ranch. We'd like to thank Jackie Scoggins for all the times that he's made memories for us to enjoy for the rest of our lives. And the Nobles Ranch has a place in our heart and it's just something that uh, we're never gonna refuse an opportunity to go down there because it's just an epic adventure almost every time we go.